Welcome back everyone. So, continuing with our strategy, getting the lost artifacts, Shiloh memories, and then captains, because we want to take on the fortress. Let's go! Men and orcs have clashed for centuries. In living memory, the greatest battle between them took place near Long Lake, where men, aided by elves and dwarves, battled the orcs and goblins of Moria. The free folk won the day, and some accounts claim that eagles of the Misty Mountains swooped down onto the battlefield, casting the orcs down from the cliffs and mountains where they stood. Seems a fanciful tale. I saw no eagles overhead when Minasethel fell, though we did have Talion and his strange powers. We would have welcomed aid from anywhere, even the skies. A this artifact was a gift from Gondor's other frontier, the long beaches of Unfalus along Gondor's distant shores. Their lord, Galazgil, sent us this ceremonial bowl with water from the river Morthond, and we kept the bowl long after the water had evaporated. I've often daydreamed of visiting Unfalus. I think I'd like it better than the capital city of Minas Tirith. There is too much of the frontier within me to be happy living in settled lands. The lamps of Eregion illuminate a room with a soft glow, one that leaves only the most tenuous of shadows, a light that seems willing to turn corners and reach further than it ought. When we stored these lamps in the Great Hall, I would light them for an evening every midwinter just to ensure they still functioned. They cheered me so much that I always resolved to do so more often, then I'd forget or put it off. How I miss their light now. To most Gondorians, this midnight urn is a simple pot of clay, but to the denizens of Minasethal, it represented shared sacrifice that only those who live on the frontier understand. For centuries, the name of every able-bodied resident of Minasethal was placed in the midnight urn, and at sunset, a name was drawn. That person would have to patrol the city's walls until sunrise. The task was ceremonial once we had a professional army, but that made it no less important. From our earliest days, it was always a neighbor watching from the walls. I was ten the first time they drew my name, and I've never been prouder, though I could barely see over the parapet. <laughs> Bullet versus man! I like my odds. Someone's hungry for touch! <laughs> 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 for you when we beat you into a pump. Oh! <laughs> 
in you. It'll stay in your insides forever. Oh, 
Okay, so that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoy my content, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Please leave a comment down below on any tips, tricks, questions, or concerns that you might have. Then, if you like, you can check out our membership page by clicking the join button. If there is no join button, you can find the link to YouTube membership and Patreon membership. Both are in the description below. With that being said, I'm going to give my current supporters the recognition that they deserve. If you want your name in the credit roll, then be sure to go and support us on Patreon or YouTube. With that being said, credit roll in three, two, one, go. Alrighty then. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.